All right, so we're going to continue on our uh, our program here. We want to explain some uh, just some more common features. You know, basically like a OTE, uh, a latching uh, output or, or a latching OTE. You know, basically just when to use those and how to use those and, and you know basic functionality. So uh, real quick, you know, this is still using the RS Logics 5000 emulate uh, chassis, and we're in slot one. This is picking up where we left off of the basic program we we uh, we made, just kind of showing the compute and compare uh, functionality to control the valve. We'll briefly kind of go over that again. You know, as it as it kind of the timer times out, it does it explains the uh, it it goes down and, and does the time left. As soon as the time left is less than or equal to 10 seconds, then it will basically cut the valve on. And we'll see that right quick. Um, but uh, what we'll do is we'll go ahead and add a couple of rungs. And uh, matter of fact, we can use this same for the uh, for the latch and unlatch. We can use the same process we have right here. So this is a standard OTE. Um, in case you know you didn't know, it's, just, it's only going to actuate when the run, the control in front of it is actually you know indicating that it can pass through just like it just did so anytime right now anytime the time left is below 10 seconds it will cut off now what we can do is we can actually like put a one shot in there and what we'll do uh, we'll put a one shot and we'll call it uh, valve ons and then we'll turn this into a latch let's just delete these wrong so we can like, assemble it so that's a latch and so if we take it off it's still going to be latched so that it would it would remain on so what we can do is we can say the flip side of this is copy and paste. So we can say if equal to 60, then we want to come back and, and do a, uh, actually let's, let's do this. Let's name this one valve on and then what we'll do is we'll call the other one valve off. So we'll basically put another ons right there, a one shot. And we'll just paste that in. But let's change it to a off. Just to kind of indicate what it is, not like it's going to do that. Um, and then we'll come down in here and do valve off. Or the unlatch. So right now you see that it's the the way the rung has passed through and we'll, we'll go ahead and cycle this real quick um, the way the rung is passed through so neither one of them are on right now because this is equal to the time left is equal to 60 so it's not on um, it's not using a one shot and the time left is not equal to or less than 10 seconds so it's not cutting the valve on now once the the uh, time left reaches 10 seconds or below, then it will cut down. It will cut the valve on. So in our instance, uh, we're, this will be a latch and an unlatch. So and we'll, we'll show that both uh, right now as soon as it gets below 10 seconds. And then what I'll do is I'll take the test bit off and then I'll basically show the unlatch. So right now it's latched in. We're only using this one. That's how we can tell. So it only one shot. So if I add another rung after that, it's it's not going to hold. So I can actually toggle this off right now if I wanted to, because it's only being held because it it only latched one time, like one scan cycle. So now if the flip side to that is if I uh, untoggle the testing bit right here, the timer will reset. And when it hits a 
uh, then it when it recalculates in the compute right here to the time left is equal to 60 it's going to unlatch and we'll show that right now so you see how that works now what I want to do right here is let's let's throw in a, uh, a counter so let's throw in a counter function and we'll show that too because that requires a reset too so we'll call that um, valve on so we'll call it CTU then we'll put like a preset of I don't know five so real quick we'll we'll put in the we'll put in the valve cutting on and then we'll do a one shot again and we'll say valve count ons. So whenever this hits, it should count. It'll count one time. We'll cycle through that. And what we'll do um, is we'll add another rum in the meantime while that's cycling. And then we'll basically put if the timer or if the I'm sorry if the counter is done then it will re automatically reset so then you want to go back to here and you want to use the reset function on this in the reset function you just grab the whole tag and drag it down below and that'll reset the counter so right now we're at 14, 13 seconds, um, and then so the valve came on, it counted once. So say for instance we did that one more time, but then we had our counter at two seconds, or two instances, I'm sorry, like the valve come on twice. Then as soon as this drops down and uh, hits below the uh, equal to our negative or equal to our, our less than 10 seconds then it will cut the valve on and what's going to happen as soon as it cuts the valve on it's going to uh, come down here do this one shot will come on it will count uh, one more time then the preset will be made and then as soon as the preset's done then are the counters done then this done bit will come on and reset the counter now we can put if we wanted to, we could put like a reset, uh, like one shot in there, but it's not required. So you see right there, it it uh, they cut the valve on, it counted again to two, two, and then once it it uh, basically got to two and the done bit came on, it reset itself. So if we reduce this timer to something a little bit faster. Actually, let's let's put that at 12. So let's reset that. Oh, yeah, it will never reset because I have this. Um, so let's do this. Okay, so undo it, and it should reset. Hit reset, toggle it again, comes down here, makes the valve, count it once, and then if we cut it off, cut it on again, it's going to toggle and then reset the, the counter. So that's the difference in basically a, uh, a latch and unlatch because you know we don't have to have this scenario, we can just keep the valve on as long as it's, it's below um, 10 seconds. But um, you know, just to, to kind of clear it up, I mean, if you wanted to hold this, or if it, say for instance, if you wanted to come in and, and toggle this off, you could toggle it off, and you could influence the timer like that. So you see, anytime the valve cuts on, anytime the valve cuts on, the counter is counting. So if I put that to five, right? But I cut the valve on, I, I toggle it on and off, 
five times. And let's do this. Let's, let's do what I'm doing is Control T, and that's Control Toggle. So you see it it coming on, counting down here. And as soon as it hits five, it the uh, valve count done happened, and it reset everything. So now it's reset. Everything's back to normal. Uh, we reset the system, and then it's it's basically back to a reset system. So that's how you, you would use a latch and unlatch, and you would also use a, uh, a count up. Uh, just a simple scenario, nothing complex, um, but still using the same control pattern we used in the uh, compare compute that we showed, the, the compare compute compute video that we showed. So um, to kind of kind of build, you know, just build on that and, you know, kind of help out and get a better understanding of how to use a, a latch and unlatch and an account. So hopefully this was helpful. Uh, just a real quick video to show you how to do that. Um, and I, like I said, I have a lot more videos uh, as far as programming from servos to structure text to uh, sequential function chart to basic setups. So if you know if you want to subscribe, um, you want to check out the other videos, and be more welcome. And um, if you'd like to see something else, or if you'd like to see something that, that might benefit you some some more in a different way. Then just leave me a message or a comment, and um, you know the, it should be in the show notes below how to do that. Or if you just want to leave me a comment, you know uh, on uh, YouTube is fine. All right, well I hope that that helped you, and uh, thank you for watching.